you got a child, right? Then you got somebody. You got somebody pregnant. No, right? all of them had miscarriages. Oh, sorry I think to if you book. take, I think if you take so many moms, it just start fucking shit up. Shaky, I can oh, get mine from the doctor. But he canceled on for, I think, three weeks or three months. But what he don't know is I doubled up on his ass. So I got a whole nother... <laughs> Bitch, you thought... You thought, honey, I got a whole nother vial, baby. Who's gonna <laughs> stop taking their mom? Not me. But he was like, it's at a toxic level. And you know, when I first went to the doctor, girl, I went there because... I had uh -huh. a liver disease from taking uh -huh. my house out the street. So oh. you know, it just brought back a lot of memories and I'm just over it. Bitch, I she was like it's, the the nurse was like, You're at a real toxic level, like it's so high, oh it's toxic God. for your body. So I don't know what I've been I mean, I have been taking point five extra because I like to be cut. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it just makes you cut. You know what I mean? But I'm going to have to slow down. Right. Shaky said, hey, let me pull Shaky up on him. Yeah, bring, bring my baby on. Bring Shaky up on him real quick. <clears throat> let me see what Shaky gets. What's going on, sister? Nothing else is over here. I'll hurry up. They're trying to figure out if I'm pregnant or not. They say my hormone level so high, I look like I'm pregnant. Okay. That's what you want, though, girl. That's <laughs> what I want, bitch. <laughs> the fuck I want to have all the motherfucking <laughs> symptoms of pregnancy, bitch. The fishiest of the fishiest things, I would have told that doctor, but bitch, y'all doing a great job. Bitch, that means y'all doing y'all fucking job. Bitch, but no, Shaky, when I first pregnant. started taking hormones, you know, I was taking them off the street or whatever. Oh, okay. The, gotcha. um... The Spanish hormones, because they break you down real good. I would really advise that to any girl that's starting, because it's like the full, it's like a concoction. It got the, the blockers in it. It got the estrogen in it all in one shot. The Spanish hormones pollute gotcha. all back. Gotcha. When I went to the doctor the first time, I had like stage four liver disease. Oh. And so they was like trying to figure out how I was still alive and stuff, so I had to stop this shit. So for me to hear this shit, like it's Friday at 8 o'clock at night. Why is the doctor calling me? So it got to be serious. Right, right. Definitely. He told me I got to stop. I don't know if he said three weeks or three months because I ain't listening. So listen. So but you say you got a double up uh, dosing, right? Well, yeah, I always, I got, I got, a, I had doubled up on him last time I went just right. to make sure. You know what I'm saying? So I always keep me too because they always playing with me. But I got to start following the rules. You gotta start finding rules. That's what you gotta start doing. Because you're, listen, you don't want to. I'm supposed to take a point five, but I take a one. I take yeah, a four yeah. one, baby. I want to be fixed. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be like yeah. the. Tra you know, I don't want to be a clocky set. I love when the girls be in my comments like, "Is that a girl or a man or a wedding? Is that a what? You know what I'm saying? Right. When they don't really get it, you don't want so, the girls to get it. So how long you <clears throat> are? Tra how long you been transitioning? For three years. Okay. But I always was fish. You know? So the trade that you with, who is that? That's your boyfriend? Yeah, that's the trade. Who are you talking about? Him? Yeah, hey, what's going on? Shaky said, hey. Oh, he okay, looks deep. Up? So that, you, huh? said that's a trans, you said that's a trans man? Yeah. All right, so you're a trans woman and you're dating a trans man. Did he say come on? Did I say we was dating? No. You yeah, we got to be. No, we're not dating. I, I'm not dating right now. That's just a friend or whatever that, that I be. <laughs> no, I heard you. I thought you said it was your trade earlier today. That's why I'm going. That I'm is afraid. my trade. Girl, I'm lost. Girl. Ace, oh, you my trade? trade? Yeah, that's my trade. So that's your, so that's your trade, but y'all not dating? Yeah. That's how I go. No, we're not. Huh? That's my trade, but we're not dating. So when the girls see him, no, that's mine. But we not that. So when the girls see him and so when the girls see him and want him, what the fuck is do you let him go with him? No, fuck. Well, you know what I mean. <laughs> so, you girl, know, trade in the dikes and stuff that you want to have with fish and stuff. You know what I'm saying with the with the vagina. They like oh. both fishes. So oh, when they want to love vagina, huh? yeah. are you in a hotel? Room? Yeah, I, I'm out of town right now. You know, I stay in Atlanta, but I'm I'm in Baltimore. Boston, what's it going to be for? Huh? 
What are you doing to be more? Well, I'm with him or whatever, and I'm making me a little complaint. Oh, well, what's it like? You know, I'm going to get my baby. I'm going to get surgery in November. My surgery date on the twelfth, so I got to make the rest of my money. You're making so you're Thank doing you. what surgery? What surgery are you doing? Um, I'm getting three sixty light bulbs, stomach, arm, neck, back, and I'm getting a BBL, um, a fat transfer to my ass. Gotcha. She's pretty. So, Thank you. So listen. So what you doing to make money if you don't mind? Huh? What are you doing to make money if you don't mind? What you think? Well, I'm mother dominatrix, so. Oh, so you do the whips, the chains, etc. Right. And so. How, might put it, might put a foot in the mouth, might shit on him or piss on him. It depends on how many bands he got. Gotcha, gotcha. Your clientele, be more. Um, is a lot of people out there. It's late. It's late. Huh? It's late. What's late? My bit. This city is late, but I'm chilling okay, with him so it's no tea. Okay, so that city is just not giving you what you need. How no. Do you, uh, so how much do you charge for yourself? Well, you know, it's just a lot of cheap shit going on out here. And, right. you know, I don't really get into the whole prostitution thing. Like, the whole, we finna fuck for 50 and 60 and 100. Like, bitch, right. I need two, three thousand, five. You know what I mean? So I go to California when I get real, real serious. Because right. that's more of the clientele that I pay for dominatrix. But over here, right. these girls are so crazy, girl. They're out here fucking for 50 and 60. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, girl. They are, bitch. I really wish y'all, hold on a minute. Let me address, I really, w let me take this off real quick. I really wish y'all bald head hoes would stop it. Okay. I wish y'all would stop letting niggas come pound your motherfucking guts out of shit. Do y'all know people bring me two and three and four hundred dollars and five hundred dollars and I still don't fuck? Why what? are y'all letting these niggas tell y'all out for three, for forty dollars and fifty dollars? It's stop the bullshit. So, for real, you fucking the game up. That's why you took back page down. I was so motherfucking happy because we need some new niggas. We need some new right. tricks because they had them fucked it up. They right, had them right, fucked right. up, and now they fucking it up again. <laughs> Bitch, <laughs> so how did can y'all cut it? I got a million questions, like literally. So, all right. So the dominatrix thing, you don't actually have sex with them. It's more like an experience that you get. Yeah. Right? Gotcha. That's okay, why I, I post on it. That's why I, I post on that side because it's more money in it. It's more money when you come on, Ho Chronicles One Hundred and One. Welcome to the Ho Chronicles One Hundred and One with MC Shaky, all the way from New Orleans. Yeah. So, with the fetishes and stuff like that, like dominatrix and shitting on niggas and pissing on niggas. How did you get like, into that? Like, how did you, what was your first experience? <clears throat> okay, so the dog that I have, um, it was this trans uh -huh. woman. Her name was Jada. Uh -huh. I'm not going to flex. When I was younger and I didn't know what was going yes. on, I used to be one of them girls that was just out here $100 half hour, 150 hour or <laughs> Two hundred, you know what right. I'm saying? The bullshit. But then when I met her, right. <clears throat> she showed me honestly. She put me on to it. Okay. And it's like if you don't know the community, you don't know. So all y'all hoes that be looking for my ass, you'll never see them because I'm not over there with the prostitutes, bitch. Right, right, right. So how do you mm -hmm. communicate with your clients though? Like how do y'all, like, like how do you advertise for your services? All it's all where it's. I mean, I'll be on the same website, just under a different section. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. What? So, okay. What's her so, music on the song? Even though Baltimore linked, what, give me some other cities that you have been to with this. Have you ever been to New Orleans and brought yourself? I have. Time? It's coin in New Orleans. It's coin or coin? It's, it's coin. Coin boots. Oh, for real? Huh? For real, so uh, most of your clients I record, are what? mostly like white men or black men or what's, what's No, that? it's 200 some people out here. We're in the middle of a... I mean, we can... Uh, I... Okay. Say hello. Do, do you need to do something? Yeah. Also, I mean, I could come back. I want to continue this conversation. No. So, very can... <laughs> Okay, so say what you need to say. What? Okay, now you have nothing to say. Okay. 
No, you won't break shit. No, the fuck you won't. <laughs> so to do us. Uh, so, so he's so so your train. He's, is he acting maybe as your pimp? Is that what his job is? No, is baby, okay. never. What the fuck would I have a pimp for, bitch? Oh no, we don't shake the bags over here, hun. We don't split shit. We're not doing none of that. Oh, so he, absolutely not. So he does that too, like as far as no, he got he worked for Amazon. Amazon. That's fine. Well, they don't know you exactly. Don't get me. I'm from New Orleans. I've never seen him before in my life. I probably uh, I know Shaky. He don't know. Yeah. He real low key or whatever. Okay, guys. Gotcha. All right. So listen. <clears throat> so if somebody were to so so you be on the same size but on a different part. So so walk. So most of your clientele black, white, Hispanic, mm-hmm. what? White, Hispanic, white. Asians. The niggas. I put no. I put no black men on my ass. You you put no black men on your ass. Yeah. Why? What's wrong with black men? I just. All money ain't good money, and you know niggas, it's no shade. They be real cheap or whatever, like, mm-hmm. but what if and they be expecting too much. I mean, what if you met a rich one that had the money, and this was a, like he was just freaking that he. Nah, I won't even say freaking that he was open minded enough that that's just something he wanted to try. Like, what? Well, then he better meet me somewhere where he can meet me. He ain't finna call my ass. Well, I, I call you and I say, listen. So your average going rate is how much an hour? Mm, three to five. Three to five. All right. Yeah. So if I say, so I, I, I don't, I'm not rich. But if I call your age, and I'm talking like I'm talking, and I say, listen, I'm, I'm, I'm black, but I mean, I got fifteen hundred dollars, and I want. You got how much? Fifteen hundred. Three times what you. Fifteen hundred. Yes. Absolutely. So you, okay, so it's it's no black men for your regular price, but black men with, for a certain price. Is that what it? So that's it. Correct. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So listen, have anything, are you afraid of this at all? Like anybody has ever, like you've ever run into a I've been held at gunpoint a couple of times and stuff. Afraid nothing. Scary money. Don't make no money. You know what I'm saying? Right. Are you, are you so. I have been throwing over all of it. And I will twirl with the day and whoop the ass if I have to. Right. All right. <clears throat> so the first time. You defecated on somebody, or actually shit on somebody. Did you think it was like, what the fuck am I doing, or what? No, because he had paid. I was in Miami, and we had just got there, and he had paid like two thousand dollars. It was me and my sister, and mind you, he paid for it before I even seen him. So by the time he came over, I felt like, nigga, you got me sitting on the beach. You done paid two thousand for me to be in my room for this amount of time. Um, I love you more. Like, come on and come get in this bathroom, come get in this bathtub, and I'm finna shit on you, period. That's what you want, so you can get shit on. <clears throat> have you, do, can, can, do they have the option to shit on you as well? Or is that just a Fuck you- no. Okay. I don't deal with men that, like, try to dominate me and stuff like that, or, like, try to fuck on me and stuff like that. You are the dominator. Yeah. Gotcha. <clears throat> um, so, and this is, it's, it's, I'm just curious. So after they shit on you, after you shit on them, what happens? Like, how do they met? Oh, oh, you know what I'm saying? What do they- yeah. I really don't know because, you know, I don't be, it's like a very much so shit and dip. I hit that work and then I work and grab my shit and then I dip. <clears throat> in the key voice. Gotcha. Gotcha. So, but once you shit on him, mm-hmm. so once you shit on him, the first time, did the, did you have any type of like, oh, I like this, or I could do this? Um, like, did it turn me on to shit on him? Yes. Okay. No. <clears throat> it didn't really turn me on to shit on him, but the amount of coin he paid further solidified that this is what I needed to be doing. If it's two thousand dollars, I'm gonna shit on the bitch too. I'm sorry. Okay. Talk about me and morning. you know they like to shit on the girls in Dubai. You know I be going to Dubai and stuff as well. Okay. And just like they like to shit on girls in Dubai, they like to get shitted on. Gotcha. And when you go out of the country it's a lot more money. 
because bitch, bitch, you about... know, Dubai people think that Dubai is expensive, but for us, United States, if you bring U.S. money over there, it's worth three times more. Gotcha. So <laughs> when I would pull out twenty dollars, twenty dollars out of the out of the ATM in Dubai, it would be a hundred of their dollars. Gotcha. You know what gotcha. I'm saying? So when it comes to like shopping and stuff, I always go to Dubai and stuff like that. Gotcha. Like my real shopping, like seasonal, like the little labels and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like at the beginning of the each season, I might run over to Dubai and grab something. The first time, so but okay, so shitting on them was one thing. So you pissing on them? That's 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 a little. Do you? That's uh, is that the same type of caliber? Yeah, for you. Uh, yeah. Mentally. Okay. So for me, time, mentally. Let me tell you something. Once the money is on the table, mentally, nothing is it's no longer mental. Gotcha. <laughs> gotcha. If no money wasn't on the table, then it might be mental. But when some money hit on, hit the table, it's no longer mental. It's a very much so. Because I'm not going to do it unless you pay the correct price anyway. Dubai does not allow you to be openly trans or gay. So all my... All my documents say female, and I just don't have those type of problems in public, you guys. You pay. No, you do pay. It's nothing. I walk through Dubai with no makeup on or nothing. Very much so sweatpants, t-shirt. Let's go. But you, I now, see. when I get in, I'm going to get dolled up because anywhere that gay is not acceptable, like the Bible Belt down there in the South, is full of gay people. Gotcha. Bitch, I get treated like the queen of motherfucking Egypt in Dubai. I love them, man. They be making... I had niggas bring me jewelry with my name on it. All type of crazy shit. Wow. I love Dubai. I can, I can imagine. <laughs> I, I, it sounds like... I, so, okay. Thank so you. you the, so, are you the type of trans you, woman... You use your penis, in that sense, for whatever. So, no. like, if a nigga want... For whatever, so mm -hmm. like if you want, 